Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you are interested in courses or books, or you have ideas on how to improve these content, please check out the link in the description box. In this video, we will take a look at how to create plots over multiple variables using a loop in Stata. So first thing, I'm going to generate the graph and then I'm going to explain it part by part. So what Stata does in this command is it creates four scatter plots against four different variables, single parent share, median household income, poverty rate, and employment rate. And instead of writing each of these plots individually, we can in this way, we can create multiple plots over multiple variables using the loop. So first thing is we set our master folder, so which I have already done. I have assigned a global macro called root, which corresponds to my folder path. And then we open our data set, and then this is where the graphing begins. So in this case, I am creating four scatter plots, including with linear fits for these two variables, KFR pulled at 25th percentile and 75th percentile. So this is basically family income at 25th percentile and 75th percentile. And I'm plotting this variable against four different variables each time. So first of all, I use the graph drop all. So this uh, clears some graph memory of any graph objects if it was created before this command. And then I'm assigning a local macro, giving it the name plot var for the plot variables. And in these in these quotes, um, I have all of the variable names. So this is the first variable, single parent share, as you can see, and the second variable separated by a space, and so on and so forth. So if we have 10 variables to plot against, we can give their names here. And then this is where the loop begins. So for each variable of local plot var, uh, begin the curly brackets. So we start the two-way command, and then this is our first graph object in a set of parentheses. So this object is what scatter, um, family income at 25th percentile, family income at 75th percentile, and then the x-axis variable, which is given by this macro var. Notice how this macro is written. So this one corresponds to each and every element of this local macro plot var in each and every iterations. And because I have a lot of data points, so the scatter plots would get crowded. So I have assigned the marker size to be 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 for each of these cases. And then the marker colors, green and red. And I have also named each of these variables by their x-axis variables, as you can see, property rate, median income. So this is how I've done the naming. And then um, we use the double pipes to add another graph object with this two-way object, which is this one, the linear fit of the 25th percentile income with the x-axis variable. A, and then another graph object, the linear fit with seven, um, of the 75th percentile family income with the x-axis variable. Now, if I did not assign any legend option, it will basically give me four legends because I have two scatter plots and then two linear fits. And I do not want it to repeat uh, the 25th percentile two times and 75th percentile two times. So that's why what I have done here is I have basically four individual objects. So the first object is this one, this scatter plot. The second object is this scatter plot. The third object is this linear fit and the fourth object is this linear fit and so in the legend option i am telling it to order the third object and give it the name 25th percentile the fourth object the name for 75th percentile so in this way theta is giving me only two um two labelings in the legends and then these are some other things that uh, we can customize and if we want to save these graphs at the same time we generate them in a folder, we can do so by using the graph export within the loop and we can uh, assign it to a folder location. So in this case, I have a folder called graph in my root folder and it will save it by each of the variable names. And also notice that we can use the X titles, uh, use the local macro VAR. So it uh, generates X titles for each of every variable we are using as the, as the X variable and then the brackets ends. So this is one way we can use the loops in Stata to create uh, multiple graphs uh, very easily without writing the same code again and again. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.